What's going on guys? Today we're going to talk about how to organize your business. Should you have a sole proprietorship? Should you have an LLC? Should you have a C Corp? What business organization strategy should you deploy? First of all, I'm going to make a few assumptions. If you have a really small business, maybe $50,000 a year or less, there's not going to be much difference between having a sole proprietorship or an LLC. Now there will be a difference if you have an S corp because you're going to have a higher tax rate. I think when we come to this conversation, when we're looking at businesses in the business organization, you should set up your first business depending on what you're going to do in the future. I'll give you an example. I have a friend who was came to me and we were talking and this. Yeah, I want to sell shares. I want to sell this. What you're telling me is you're going to need a C Corp. Now, what is a C Corporation? This is a different level of corporation. This is where you go ahead and you incorporate. You have articles of incorporation and then you have members of the board. Now with a C Corp, let's say, give you an example. Let's say you have your C Corp and you have an investor who will give you $10 million for 49% of your corporation. Now, this is where you have to be careful. I have noticed that there have been many C Corp founders who literally got priced out of their company because they kept selling shares. To you, I'll sell 10%, I'll sell 10%, I'll sell 20%, I'll sell 30%. And next thing, the founder of this company has the smallest percentage of C Corp shares. In the case of Arthur Blank, the owner of the Atlanta Falcons, he owns 15% of Home Depot, and Home Depot is a dividend paying stock. So he makes a lot of money owning 15%. And I don't know how much Bernie Marcus owns, but I wouldn't be surprised if the two of them own 30% of a major multi billion dollar C corporation, which is amazing, which is awesome because this puts a lot of money and a lot of power in their position. But if you're going to just start a C Corp, you're just going to have a small organization where you're not putting together a lot of money and time. Having a C Corp can be detrimental to your future success because typically, once again, a C Corp is a corporation that you would put together if you're in the position where you're going to sell stock you're going to sell investments. Maybe you want to go public one day. You One day you want to go public. You would definitely need to start a C Corp because this gives you the ability to create certain classifications of stock. This gives you the ability to create a runway of stock. Like I said, depending on what you want to do in the future is a big indicator of what type of of corporation you should set up, what type of business strategy. It all depends on what you're going to do because all business classifications are not applicable to future endeavors. If you're just going to like, let's say you have an idea, you want to start a car wash business or you want to start a lawn mowing business and this business is going to be strictly part time. You're never going to really scale up. You're never going to invest a lot of money. This business makes 15 to 30,000 a year and you keep your job. You could probably get away with a sole proprietorship quite easily from a business standpoint because what you're doing, the chances of you getting sued as a car wash or the chances of you getting sued as a lawn care giver, it's not that great, but it's possible. It's possible. Now, one of the things is, and this is where a lot of people who come to me, who talk to me are, is they want to start a business that can get extremely large at some point in the future. And for many of these people, my suggestion is start an L LLC and then transition that LLC to an S Corp. Now, what is an LLC? An LLC is something that you can literally sit at your computer, set up in your local state pretty quickly, pretty cheaply, and then you can go ahead 
and get your EIN from the Internal Revenue Service for free. Go to the, your local bank, get a business checking account. If you have good credit, I would also apply for a business credit card at that point. And then you're up, set up. You have your LLC, your EIN, your business checking, your business credit card. Day one, you're ready to rock and roll. This is where I like the LLC option the most. Once again, if you're just gonna start a small business that you're really never gonna push, it's just gonna make good part-time money, you can pretty much get away as a sole proprietor. But let's say you wanna start a lawn care service and you want to get to, let's say, operating budget $500,000 a year, which is gonna require crews, trucks, all this other stuff. And here's the thing, as a LLC as an S Corp, because this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna start that business as a regular LLC. And as you scale up and you start making money, you will transition to an S Corp. One of the things that I consistently see is people get extremely puzzled. They get extremely apprehensive about starting a business because they're unclear about the business structure that they should deploy. And I got a message for those folks. First message, you should subscribe and comment on this video and watch it three times. I would not let the lack of knowing what type of business structure I would start, stop me from starting the business. As you get into business, and this is one of the things that consistently happened to me. When I got into business, I learned a lot more before I was in business. So once you go ahead and get started, you go ahead and just start getting business, start getting customers, start making money, a lot of things will become very clear to you based upon where you are. If you do not know what type of business structure, sole proprietor, S Corp, LLC, C Corp, do not let that stop you from starting your business. Do not let that be a holdup. Do not let that be a barrier to you starting your business. Start your business and work out the finer details later because let's say you're starting something and you want to do it as a sole proprietor you get started and it starts going really well and you make two hundred thousand dollars your first year at this point you would file as a sole proprietor okay do that you would file as a sole proprietor do that and then you will go ahead and next year you would file your llc and get all that stuff going and then put all the business operations on the LLC. One of the things that's very easy with business is your business strategy, the LLC, the S Corp. It's really, it gets simple once you start your business. So like I said, if you don't know, if you're unaware of what you need to do to start your business, to get it going, do not, once again, do not let that stop you because as you get in the business, as you start doing certain things, these things will become quite apparent. Now, there are certain businesses that will dictate and legally require you to set up an LLC or an S Corp or a C Corp. And these are businesses like trucking. You're gonna have to have a lot of fees. You're gonna have to have a lot of licenses. And the regulatory situation makes it quite challenging challenging to the regulatory situation makes it quite challenging to start but once again i feel for the average person you can start an llc for your business and it's going to be very simple for you to set up an llc for you to set up your ein for you to set all this stuff up and get it going for you to make money there's a lot of things because once again so proprietorship llc S Corp, C Corp. These words sound much fancier than they are because, and actually, it's quite simple. But once again, I feel for the majority of people who are watching this video, the best business structure is going to be an LLC that you can transition into an S Corp. Now, what do I mean by that? When you first start your LLC, you have no business, you're not making any money. So at that point, it doesn't make sense to start this as a C Corp under those in that type of environment. So what you would do is get your business started, start making money, and then maybe the first year, it just depends on 
when you start in the money that comes in. I'll give you an example. Let's say you started a business in January and you didn't really know what to do and you started as a sole proprietorship and the business started to really take off. And then you, three months later, you go ahead and file your LLC and the business keeps taking off, keeps making money, keeps taking off. In November, you're at the point where your business has made, let's say $350,000. Because you're a good steward, you've been watching your videos, a lot of that money's still in the bank. At this point, I would start a S corporation. And what is starting an S corporation? An S corporation is not a fancy corporation. You file two pieces of paperwork with the Internal Revenue Service to declare that your business wants to be taxed as an S corporation. And this opens up the door to you putting yourself on salary and then taking other parts of the business income as dividends and not paying payroll taxes, which could save you 16%. So 16% on 100,000 is $16,000. In my mind, that's quite a large percentage, and that would dictate that you move over to the S Corp before the end of the year. And it, once again, the timing is everything. Let's say, you know, you made this 300,000, it's November, you, you go ahead and file that stuff, you would be good to go for tax year. But let's say your business didn't explode. Let's say you started an LLC and it took three years for it to really start making decent money. And when I say decent money, I'm talking about $100,000 a year or more in profit. Because let's say your first year you made $10,000. Once again, whether it's a sole proprietorship, whether it's an LLC, whether it's an S Corp, whether it's a C Corp, I will say sole proprietorship, you're going to not really is paying the taxes and stuff from a sole proprietorship, an LLC, or an S Corp. And an S Corp, it will get a little bit more expensive because you will have to file your corporate paperwork on that. But it's just not gonna be a huge difference in the number of fees you would pay because it all starts with the money. It all starts with the money, where the money's coming in, where the money is residing. So once again, if you're under 100K, you can probably get away with a sole proprietorship. You probably get away with an LLC. But if you're like 150, 200, 300, 400, 500,000, an LLC that you could transition into an S Corp is going to be your best option. Because let's talk about fear. A lot of people have fear, and the fear is well rationed because you don't know you have no clue to what's going on and this is all very new to you so you're like what if i do this and what if i do this and this goes wrong or that goes wrong or bad things happen if i go in this direction i'm going to explain something to you that you should know starting with business and i will make this really clear let's say you just start an llc and you do not transition it into an s corp that can be one of the most scariest and financially painful moves because if you start an LLC and your LLC like you just start in January and your LLC makes a million dollars and you do not have the proper structure that can cost you so much money so much money and this happens there are people who start these businesses they literally blow up overnight so in that case starting an LLC and blowing up without the proper business documentation and business setup could be extremely painful. But other than that, most of the lessons that I've learned in business have been extremely fixable. Let's say you start your business as a sole proprietor, then you open up an LLC, then you move to an S Corp. This happens in stages and there is no big penalty for moving in stages. So you can make mistakes, you can have situations where you're trying to have your LLC do the best thing possible and you can run into some problems. But I will say from business, most problems from a company organizational setup are indeed quite fixable if you know what you need to know. And once again, that's what I'm here for. Make sure that you subscribe, hit the bell notification, watch this video three times because essentially i feel that a lot of people are literally held back by the lack of information because it's like there's so much information on the internet 
And it's who do I trust? Who do I watch? Who should I look out for? Who helps me? Who sets this up and all this other stuff? And I'm here to tell you as a business owner, as someone who's been in business for 25 years, the majority, once again, other than that LLC, your business blowing up, the majority of business mistakes are quite fixable and you should not allow the not knowing, because once again, I'm gonna explain something in a minute, to stop you. Because I'm gonna tell you how I learned about holding companies. And this video is not about holding companies, but I'm gonna tell you how I hold it. I was in business. If I wasn't in business, I wouldn't know anything about holding companies. So <clears throat> as you start your business, as you get enraptured, enrolled in your business, and you're making moves and you're setting things up, you should be highly aware of what is going on what is happening with your business in regards to the money that you have spent for the marketing and all this other stuff. This to me is like a relationship and you get in the relationship and this is where you start to learn bigger, better, bolder things that you would not know if you were not in a relationship. You just wouldn't know this stuff. So once again, start your business as soon as you want to and then you can figure out a lot of this other stuff. Once again, this video should be dropping in April and I have some new stuff that I'm getting ready to do. Number one, I'm going to have completely new training, completely new workbooks, completely, everything's going to be brand new and it will be in the description and it will be in the first comment. So if you want to be part of that, Go ahead, and this is a series of educational stuff. It's gonna be very different than anything I've ever done before. It's gonna be completely brand new. It's gonna be completely set up, and it's gonna help you start your business with the proper mindset, the proper game plan, and the proper things you need to do to get your business rocking and rolling. So, there it is. Be sure to watch this video a few times. Be sure to comment and ask any questions you have. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.